Today I'm going to be working on the main part of the latch, and that is the two handles and the pipe that has the lifting cam. I'm going to lock all that together so it works as a single unit. I decided the best way to assemble this was to key the outside handles to the main pipe that runs through the center of the latch. That way I have the ability to take it apart when I need to, but it locks together and it's a solid piece. Here I've just assembled everything so you see how it goes together. Nothing's keyed together so that's why that center cam can spin around and the handles aren't locked together. Here I'm cutting a keyway that's going to lock the outside door handle to the latch mechanism. I'm going to be threading the decorative nut that I turned last time up to this keyway and then I'm going to have the key sitting inside and I'm going to braise the whole thing together as a unit. To make the keyway I've started by drilling two shallow holes at the exact location where I need the key and then I have a chisel that's the same width as the material that I'm using for the key and I'm using that to remove the material in between the two holes. And I'm going to be cutting the plate that I want to use for the keyway to fit the hole. It's just easier that way. And I'm going to be leaving it oversized because it's a lot easier to handle and I'm you know, less likely to lose it in the fire that way. Here I have these parts assembled and they're ready to go in the fire and get brazed together. The inside door handle is going to be connected to the latch mechanism with a single key that's going to be brazed to the inside door handle. This key is going to lock the handle to the center pipe, but it's going to allow the main threaded rod to pass right through the lock. I'm going to be chiseling a fairly deep groove on the handle so that I have a lot more surface area for the braze to hold that key. The rest of it will be filed away to fit the pipe later. Here I'm tightening up the fit by driving a chisel directly next to the opening. That's pushing a chip up against the keyway and jamming it in place. So uh, I, hopefully it'll stay in the fire while I braise it. So here's the bolt that's going to lock the outside door handle in place and you can see where I need to cut a keyway into the pipe to get it all to fit together. The inside door handle gets assembled exactly the same way only for this piece I need to file away anything that might interfere with the bolt passing through the latch. So the only thing I'm going to be left with on this piece is a tiny little pin that's going to lock the handle to the center pipe. So now that the keys are in place, I just need to mark their location on the center pipe.
I'm going to be locating the grooves on the underside of the latch so the keys aren't visible. The exact location isn't critical. I just need them to be close. I still have a little bit more work to do on the handles, so if I have to tweak them one direction or another to get them to line up, that's easily done. The main thing is to get them both in line so that whatever I do to one handle, I need to do to the other handle so they stay symmetrical. The last thing that I need to do to get this part roughed in is to chisel a groove in the outside door handle that will allow it to pass over top of the keyway that's embedded into the head of the bolt. So here's the whole thing assembled. Both handles are locked to the center pipe so they work as a unit and then that lifts the lifting cam that'll eventually lift the latch bar so that you can open the door. On the underside you can see the keyways that I've cut. There's still some filing that needs to be done but that'll all be done you know as part of the final assembly and finish. Hi I'm Dennis and thanks for watching. If you like this video by all means give it a thumbs up. If you want to support this channel, you have a couple of options to do that. The first, of course, is to just subscribe. Secondly, if you have any suggestions or photographs of things you'd like to see on this channel, send them along and I'll do my best to turn them into a video. If you want to lend your financial support, you can do that in a couple of ways. First, if you're interested in making an ongoing contribution to this channel, just click the Patreon icon and it'll take you to my Patreon page and you can donate whatever amount you feel comfortable with. If you want to make a one-time contribution, just go to my channel homepage and click the donate button in the banner. So thank you for your support and with your help I'll be doing this for some time to come. I'll see you next time.